Hey everyone, Nate Bauer here, bringing you a Photoshop tutorial brought to you by Questional.com. I'm on PhotoshopForums.com here, and Aftershock422 asks, I'm trying to make the same thing I have here, but with different photos. Can anyone direct me to a tutorial or explain how I would go about making something like this or similar to this? Alright, so I've got Photoshop open already where I've been playing around, and I think I've come up with several results to allow me to duplicate this. Cool. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I've got my history panel open here. I'm going to go back to my original snapshot. I'm going to go ahead and click on my background and make it just a regular layer. Alright. So with my rounded rectangle tool, I've got a radius of 50. I've played around with this a bit before my tutorial began. And I think 50 is a, is a pretty good duplication of the same rounded edge you've got on your example. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click and drag and create a nice layer there. And I'm going to take that same layer and move it below my original. Now if I hold down the Alt or Option key and move my cursor in between the two layers, you'll see I'll create a clipping mask, and that, that works out pretty well. So if I go ahead and try to create that stroke, I'm just going to go ahead and slip there. Yeah, four pixels I think was about where you had it, and then there's a lighter gray. Cool. And I think that looks really nice from what you had. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back to my original. Let's see if we can do that one more time in a different way. Go to go ahead and back uh, make my background a regular layer again. Alrighty. And now what I'd like to do is go ahead and hold down Option, Command, or Alt Control on the PC. And I'm going to click my Layer Mask button. Now what this is going to do is instead of creating a regular layer mask, it's going to create a vector mask. And instead of using pixels, it's going to use shapes instead. So using the exact same method I used a second ago, I'm going to go ahead and draw my rectangle out there. And you can see it's pretty much already done for me. So I can go ahead and double click, go to blending uh, mode options again, and go to four pixels inside, and then the same colored gray, and I've essentially achieved the same result that I had a second ago. Awesome. So there are two manual ways you can achieve the same results. However, I'd also like to show you a third way that you can create the entire thing uh, in an automatic way that allows you to do it to multiple images at one time. All right, so going back to my original Starscape, I'd first like to show there's a bit of a bug, either a bug or a limitation in Photoshop that I'm still exploring, but if I hit Command A to uh, select everything and go to Select to Modify, you'll notice a lot of my options aren't available. And I'm not exactly sure why yet. However, if I create a smaller selection and go to Modify, they're all available. So we just have to figure out a way to work around this. And it's actually pretty simple. Cool. So what I'd like to do is go to Select. I'm going to select everything and modify it, and I'd like to create a border. Uh, before I do that, let's see if we can create an action out of this, and I'll show you how to do the entire thing at one time. Cool, so I'm going to deselect all that. I'm going to go ahead and create a new action. Let's do rounded edges. And hit record. So we're recording. We're already ready to go. So I'm going to hit Control A to select everything. Select, modify, and border. I'm going to create just a one pixel border. Now I'm going to hit Control Shift I or Command Shift I on the Mac to invert my selection. Now what we've done here is essentially selected the entire image except for a one pixel border around the entire thing. That allows us to go back to our select uh, menu and use any of these options here. Awesome. So I'm going to go to Select, Modify, and I'm going to go ahead and smooth out those edges. Now I've got it set to 30 already, and because our radius before was 50, uh, our smooth selection is going to be about half that because we're going to be using it twice. Because if I select it once, you'll notice my edges still quite aren't as round as I'd like them to be. However, it can be easily fixed if I go ahead and smooth it one more time, and you can see that result ends up really nice. Awesome. Cool, and now that I've got that selected, I'm going to go ahead and take my background, make it a ray layer, and just create a regular selection out of it. Just create a nice mask. Awesome, and then like I did before, I'm going to go back in there, create a stroke, four pixels inside, and nice light gray. Awesome. And now you can see back up here into our actions panel, I'm going to go ahead and stop that action, and now we've got our rounded edges. And I'd like to show you how to do that, how to take that action and put it on multiple images in the next video.